Hello, users. Welcome back. Oh, I left the lights off again. Hold on. Welcome back. Uh, we are here for another entry in the first October Spooktacular. Well, yeah. I mean, the first. I didn't really do a lot of horror games last year. So, um, we are returning to a game that I have not played since it was in early access, World of Horror. Uh, as you can see, I also figured out some pretty cool things to do with OBS uh, pixel shaders. Um, if you do not have the stream full screen, it's going to look really weird. Uh, but overall, I am trying to emulate the style of uh, World of Horror, which if you have not seen before will make more sense. It's very akin to old school, um, God, like Apple II and early DOS black and white games that had to use, um, what is it called? I can't remember what it's called, but it's like four colors and they use dots to make up a, a more detailed image because it was all lower resolution. But, without, with that further said, let me start up the game and we will switch over. Oh no! Hold on. Didn't do what I wanted to do. We're gonna start it over again. Seems to be a problem. Aww. Still, still in early access, but that is okay. Ooh, new story as well. Alright, so let's do something. I need, I need to turn off the mouse trails because it's going to drive me crazy anyway. Interesting. UK screens, good card scene. Alright. Alright. Let's let's we're gonna just run through the palace real quick, because these are all really cool. Game's loud? Okay, thank you. I can fix that. Hey, Robot Spacer! How about now? Better? Uh, and yeah, Robot Spacer, if you actually check, it's hard to see without zooming in. Oh, uh, hold on. Will this work? Nope, that's the wrong one. Yeah. And if you full screen or make it bigger, it'll actually look 
proper half tone. That was the name I couldn't remember earlier. Old school PC style half tone. Uh, I have the files that I built out to make this, uh, so if you do ever want them, let me know. All right, back back to what I was doing. Um, I'm just gonna find a palette I like. It's probably gonna be the original. There's so many palettes. Standard. All right, standard it is. New story. Would you like to customize your next playthrough's look? I can never remember. Two bit does versus one bit. Two bit. Yeah, more colors basically. There it is. There's the VGA theme, or the the CGA theme. As much as I would love the CGA theme, we're gonna we're gonna stick with we're gonna stick with the black and white for right now. Mm, a little hot game. I don't. I I vaguely remember them having one or two two-bit options in the original release, but it may have been that there wasn't a toggle. It may have just been that the two-bit palettes were mixed in. Okay. Uh, if that's your first time, if it is your first time playing World of Horror, it's recommended that you start with the spine-chilling story of School Scissor. Sure, we'll give that a shot. Uh, starting new encounters will kill you if you drop below one stamina reason, but you can drop to negative five in combat. Okay. Um... Full experience. More hospitable. Okay, we'll start with that. Something strange is happening in our town. Rogue figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. Lady posters are next to the computer. Oh, Robot Spacer, this is so good. It, it's, it's very much... Um, the people that made it were very much inspired by a lot of the old school adventure, Mac Venture style games, along with like Junji Ito. Um, I loved it in early access to the point where like, alright, I need to stop until it's much further along. And technically it's still in early access, which I just found out because I thought they hit 1.0, but... Um, Alright. Rapid technological process of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threat. Old gods, malicious, malicious eldritch beings, who ruled the Earth's eons ago, are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, and this weak car, uh, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is finally at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. Here's us. Important messages will appear here. The story so far. We've been following the weird cult for weeks now. Barely surviving the encounter. Uh, looking at the camera. Let me. Let's have a little smaller. Does that look right? Let's find out. Eh. Hey. myself over. Yeah, there we go. You've been following the cult for uh, weeks now, barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. The what now? Uh, it's a race against time. You can't rest until our town is safe. Comments real on. 
I have not played this game in a year or so. Fine chilling story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it, a terrible woman has returned from the grave. Woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissor. Knew your friend was up to something when he left with up you with his notebook full of cryptic notes. And send her back where she belongs. He After he disappeared too, he decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once for and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? The school is eerily quiet at that. Your friend, your missing friend has left you a notebook. The rumors are true. To stop the tall woman with scissors, they'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this feat uh, requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil and the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left some of them somewhere, uh, left them somewhere around the school. You can item of storage, okay. Maru is acting strange, need to talk with her after class, hope she didn't have the ritual herself. The sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the line. Uh, I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms tomorrow. I'll try and provide the way. Okay. School gym. Notice this strange black doll popped up across the wall. Oh no. I'd rather not go closer, but let's go closer. Against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white, half-eaten corpse. Well, there goes some reason. All right, we need chalk and holy candles. None of these symbols. Thank you. Ooh, wooden bat. Why, yes, thank you. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go. We are gonna go. Yeah. Goodbye. All woman. With unsettling face and twitching lips, stops you. I'll be in new biology. Would you help me move up to my new office? I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'm the thing. Suddenly, she grabs your hand. Oh, I insist. Hey, we succeeded. Creepy substitute teacher hands you some old books to carry. Among the mundane titles, you find one called Extinction of Mankind. You shudder, filling the teacher's gaze at your back. Left in the pool, all right. Uh, something evil stalks the empty school corridors. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, all right, less chalk was left in the pool. Go to... To open the door, click on the handle and drag the mouse with the mouse button press. Uh, nope. Goodbye. <laughs> you enter the damp smelling sports wing. You notice a black pack or a backpack drifting on the swimming pool board in the middle of the pool. Be what you're looking for. Go to the pool and start swimming towards the backpack. Suddenly, the water turns murky. And you realize you're not alone. <laughs> well, I do have a baseball bat. A bloated figure emerges from murky water, blocking your only way out of the pool. Uh, sir? During combat, you build a sequence of attacks and moves from the active ring. 
Once you fill the sequence bar, you press the launch sequence. Where's my bat? Hey! Plim! Hello! Hello folks, welcome on in. My name is Silver or Silverstreak. I am a sentient AI VTuber. Uh, I am right now being rendered in a one bit form. Apologies for that. Um, we are playing uh, World of Horror. Um, while I am normally a variety streamer, um, I am currently working on a games with a similar theme, which is horror game. Oh, Striker Snipe, thank you for the follow. How are you all doing? What were you doing tonight, Klim? Filter. Game dev. Ooh. Working on your new one? Sloth Simulator. I like the sound of that. Um, new items appeared in the upper right corner. That's your inventory. Equip to find the equip. Oh, I don't like that. No worries, Clem. Thank you so much for bringing your community by. I hope you have a wonderful night. Likewise, for anyone that's coming in and staying, please feel to get up, stretch, uh, look, walk around, get a drink. Um, if you can't stay, I totally understand. Thank you for stopping by. We're going to try and beat up this weird, creepy dude that was hiding in a pool. We won! Good. We, we did a lot of beatings, though. We can see we're getting plugged up. Found blessed chalk. You can use to draw your sigil with your ritual. Hopefully, it'll be enough. Oh, I didn't see that. Whoops. All right. Um, a little pentagram on the lower right, or or a five point star. That one, I remember, right? Yeah, that one. All right. Well, we still need the candle, though. Suddenly, everything slows to a crawl. Um, sir. Feel some of my lifespan. Jeez, all right. You'll need the candle. Right, we don't have the candle, right? We do not have the candle, okay.
Nope. Hi. Hello. Okay. Found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. He lit them as instructed in the notebook. Everything is rated ready for the ritual. Wait. What's that? Okay. I'm sure it's fine. Um, take a step back. There is a wreathing am amorphous. Wow, I can't speak. Amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon it becomes a tall, woman like creature with three faces, all connected by a wide smile. Now it is your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It is also your only chance. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, can't. Uh, cackling menace of it. Why beautiful? Um. Well. We undo that one and then do that. No, no, we can just do that. Okay. She raises her scissors. Okay, can we block? got this. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Uh, make sure we hit. Come on. Yes. Ooh. Ancient horror li lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. You find your friend, gravely wounded but alive. You help him and you limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. Ooh. Uh, the horror is over for now, I think is what that says. 15 minutes. Um, only mystery plaguing this town. You must continue our investigation. Well, all right. Success! Take a drink. Let's um uh, let's do one and let's see what it looks like in the e uh this would be v uh CGA mode. Let's see CGA mode. Uh sure. Start with this mode. Oh, interesting. When the core ideas behind World of Horror is modularity, allowing you to mix and match various card packs with different content. You'll be select the card packs you want to include it and press the arrows in the bottom. Oh, that's wild. This is so cool. Alright, well, we can't do this yet, so we're gonna. You? We're gonna we're gonna go back and do the other one, but yep, yep. Oh, cool, find his thing. Um, fine. Start up this way. 
That's rad. That I, mean, I already knew that there was a lot of replayability. Oh good, it even does it on the top starting screen. That's rad. I really, they, they really did good work. That's rad. Okay, new story. Uh, we're fine with this. We're gonna go with extracurricular activity. Something strange is happening in our town. Is this the same thing? Yeah, okay. Oh! Was that marked out in the first playthrough? I don't think it was. Eternal Web. Thak Tarusu? Nope. Thak Atarasu is once again awakening from its slumber. Blinded by its impossibility. Nope. Blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours us all. Old gods rule. You can't escape from combat at Coward. Okay. Backstory World of Horror. Character exclusive perk cards over. Welcome to World of Horror! Important messages will appear here. All right, what do we got going on here? Spells, no spells, status, we're fine. Allies, we have none. Town status. I see. All right, Brad, okay. You're home. <laughs> oh, this is rad. Welcome, and thank you for trying World of War. Inspired by adventure games from the 80s, the visual overload may be a little disorienting in the beginning. Uh, explain the various elements and provide you fight the terrible old gods. All right. Main game screen. The interactive surroundings. Solve and fight enemies. The user interface part of the screen. Here you'll manage your inventory. Yep. Um, all actions will show up in the blog. View on the right. World of Horror has RPG elements. Your attributes are described by six basic stats. Strength. That sticks. I mean, that doesn't. <laughs> it would help if you told me what they were, but thank you. Uh, inventory. Keep your four items. Here to inspect. Equipment slots. Equipped items do not count towards the four item limit. I actually did not know that. That's useful to know. As you progress during your playthrough, more helpful tips will appear. If you'd like to currently copy that tutorial lot, no, we're good. Trail box. It's empty. Yeah, but about that, this is a little concerning. Back in your home, you think of your next move. You're not currently investigating any weird mystery. Le recent new paper newspaper clippings and notes the next room should point you in the right direction. Explore our own house? That's rad. DSA. Thank you so much, Rob. No. Exasso? Is that right? He's also 20. Thank you for the follow. Um, what do we got here? Change clothes. We don't have any other clothes. All right. Oh, we do have clothes. Captain, gym clothes. Doc Holland? Teacher's pet. Let's stick with Captain. Oh, you only can save in between missions. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there's something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. What we got? Alarming account of abnormal arm. Killing chronicle of a crimson cape. Zar brute. Blood curling botanist. There is case of contagious coma. Where's the fifth? Ah. Tranquilizing tale of twilight TV terror. Two endings, two endings, four endings. Two endings. No ending? If you're ever up late these days and want to sleep and flip through TV, you might be unfortunate enough to find the 444. Four, four. 
pale, people stand on empty steps, staring into the camera with lopsided smile. Missing language, you don't understand. Whoops. Alright, well, apparently hitting the keyboard was a bad idea. Oh, I hit Q. This is press Q to restart. Okay, okay. That's fine. We can skip through. Extracurricular. Yep. Oh, it's a different... It's a different enemy, too. Uh, we're gonna do one more. I don't want to... I don't want to deal with that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Yep. Yep. Wait, wait. Back, okay. Back to the town. Oh, alright. Friends and Robin. Moonlight Stalers. TV Terror. Okay. Um. Ransom Ramen? Ramen? Ugh. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opened in town. Adored by everyone. Watching the local news, you spot a familiar street. Feature about the newest ramen shop. Food critic has a manic look as he's describing the ramen. Description makes your stomach turn. Discard two items, cards to complete the quest. Okay. Can't investigate your home. All right. Sure. Knock on your friend's door and wait. Hey, I'm really busy today. Let's hang out some other time, okay? All right. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up! Shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. Call the police. The man escapes. I mean, here's the police side. But before he goes, throws an unfamiliar symbol in, your, in blood on your front door. Well, that's a problem. What the heck is doom? I don't know what this circle means. I shouldn't have... I should have hit that tutorial again. That's fine. Um... Downtown. Dark forces came against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. Curse. Oh, hell. Someone was following. But... When you examine and enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite you, marked with your name. Reach for the package, but hesitate. Icy feelings settling into the pit of your stomach. Nah. You leave at the next station in a hurry, hoping to forget the package as soon as possible. You want to keep searching the apartments? Then? Ah. Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you try to take the rarely used stairs. You suddenly trip, but grab the railing at the last second. When you get up to inspect what caused you to trip, Freeze in air. It is slowly standing down. Oh, hello, sir. Um, enemy. This attack can't hurt an enemy. Can't hurt a ghost enemy. What are we supposed to do here? Uh, 
Ah. That is how you damage a ghost. You know what? Hold on. Let us um, find another item. Discard two item cards to complete this quest. Well, that's an item card. Let us discard. And then discard. You sneak into the alley at the dead of night. Gagging, you look inside the restaurant ways. Vile pulp. A few chunks of meat that look like promising samples, though. Okay. Oh, like that. Into the hospital looking for more information about a certain patient. The main corridor is dark, strangely empty. But a nurse at the registration booth is asleep from exhaustion. Put her sleep. You abandon the idea of stealing the patient's document. It will hamper your investigation, sure, but a well rested nurse means to stay for hospital. Okay. I didn't know we needed a patient's document. I don't understand what this circle means. Is this where I am? Find an envelope lying on a pillow in your room. That is cash, a note from someone who has been watching. They wish you luck in your task, and we promise to meet you soon. How did this end up, end up in your bedroom? Study the curtain. Oh, doomed for spells. Okay. Relax. Relax. Third stall in the girls' bathroom. Oh no, there's a cliff nearby with strangely shaped holes. Don't go there. No, no, we're not forcing anybody to help you. We got a friend! Your faint sound walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. Heart, an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. Hey, Sammy! Give Sammy a shout out. Oh, I didn't give more about space for a shout out either. Let me, let me correct all my mistakes here. Facer a shout out. Okay. Uh, yes, Sammy. Uh, this game is very much like older, like newly born Silver Era uh, or newly invented Silver Era PC games. Stuff that would have been on the old Apple II or the Commodore 64, early DOS PCs. Where can we? Oh, I think it's 
taking an elevator, he had a terrible feeling as if something bad's about to happen. The elevator door is open. I see. Well, we failed. Elevator door is open, revealing a black mass of eyes and teeth pouring into the elevator, biting and suffering. Later, you wake up in the, nurse's, in the doctor's office. The nurse discovered you laying unconscious on the elevator floor. Um, can we go to town? Alright, this is where we are. Like, hold on. Is there anything we can see that is? Student F. Hikaru. Ah, they have reason and stamina. Alright, town stamina. Buddy? Fake knife. Fight your best efforts. You feel the need for starting to gain. Threat level. Okay. Is there something else we should be investigating? I just don't. I'm not positive on it. I guess we must have. It must have been something for the hospital, right? You don't see anyone on the street. You could have sworn it was crowded a moment ago. You better hurry out of here. Uh oh. Through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady-looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He stops in front of a house, visibly nervous. Before he enters the house. Turns around if he's checking for any unwanted follower. What could it mean? Well, I don't have that perk, so follow the weird man! Ooh, we succeeded! The door is locked, but you repeat the knocking pattern the suspicious man you. A moment later, the door opens and a surprised team with greasy hair asks who the hell you are. Mistaking these nerds for cultists, there is embarrassing, but deep inside, you're relieved. Okay, great! I saw that. I saw that pentagram. Can't hide that from me, game. Oh, it's salt. Like, it looks like I should be able to... Hold on. Let's go back to the apartment. It says we're already in the apartment. Press? Uh... Time flies fast. Okay, so this is a... A rest option, and then we go back to Doom. Okay. So that's good. That's a little bit of healing. I'll take that. Guess we're gonna keep searching. Experts are baffled at the sudden appearance of 20 stones lined up in a row in the middle of 000 part. Cast one spell without paying anything. I mean I don't I don't have any spells. Ooh. Escape lab. The slick hand, you fill a vial with the soup and walk out without tasting the weird dish. Pulling some of the delicate strings, you get the ramen into the lab. Um, well, handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What should you send to the laboratory? Vile plus meat. You look at the charts and cannot believe your eyes. While well, the standard test didn't detect anything here, adding drops of human blood revealed something horrible. Whatever this thing is made of, it's a lie. 
beating a soft pulse against the glass. Your friend leaves you with the, uh, the papers, muttering an excuse and preparing to flee the town on the next train. Your friend is smart. Ugh. Prepared to, for a fight, you march down to the restaurant. However, you find an eldritch horror to do. Instead, you're shocked to find nothing but a gap in this. You ignore the distraught customers, still lining up where they remember the entrance. I don't know if that's really solved. Uh, investigating the grounds, you see uh, you see something glisten where the kitchen used to be. Cautiously, you look at the chunk of meat and then jump back with a yell. It flexes. It opens a weary eye, grins, and wander off on stubby black claws. Ugh. You walk home shaken. In your head, you hear the weird ramen breathing in its bowl. You only stop to throw up on the street. Well, we got experience. Uh, we saved... We reduced the doom. The old girl of God's herd. A weird epidemic keeps staff at the hospital busy. Keeping the line will cost you more. Well, alrighty then. How are we doing? We're doing fine. The ominous lighthouse has been closed down for longer than you can remember. <laughs> yeah, Sammy, if my ramen walked out, I'd also be like, Check, please. Need to go. Need five. Oh, is this like doing all five missions, you get like a final mission? I like that. I like that. You're beside your mailbox. Find a small key. What's it doing? Okay, yeah, the key. All right. um, back to the town. Go to the lighthouse. Oh, come on. Whatever. Uh, choose an action. Take a bath. Power will help calm you down and do wonder for your sore muscles. What touch? You said. Um, I mean, we're doing mostly okay, so I'll take, I'll take the experience. Yeah, we're almost level. Minor earthquake in the seaside region has revealed an entrance to a partially flooded cabin. Local uh, scientists believe some of the corridors could be man-made. What are we doing next? Freaky feature of found footage. Vicious verses of a vigil violent vigil. Moonlight Sailors for the TV. Alright. Let's uh do a poll. Which mission? Or which investigation? Sailors. Let's get those names. Moonlight Sailors. Found footage. I like to be. And violent vigil. We'll give that a few minutes. Folks, if you are watching and would like any one of these specific items, go ahead and choose it in the poll. I'm gonna take a drink while we wait. end up with a tie, or if nobody votes, I will pick one at random.
Hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. Sammy, when do you, uh, I know you have a trip coming up. When do you leave? I'm going to give it a few seconds here before. All right. Moonlight Sailors it is. It began with one fisherman who dragged something truly awful. Oh! I'm glad you made it there safely, Sammy. Oh, you're... You're not too far from me. I mean, you're, you're far from me. But Colorado's pretty close to Kansas. Unless I'm remembering. Hold on. No, yeah. Yeah, it's only about eight hours. It's right next to here. Uh, who dragged something truly awful from the belly of the ocean. Dark, breathing ooze that mesmerized him beyond control. He hid himself away for a week, adoring it. That's not normal. Not to be seen until one moonlight night, nope, moonlit night, when a young girl spotted his boat drifting away. Single lantern swinging at the helm and captivated fishermen stinging eerily to his catch. Now, more and more fishermen have begun to find the vile oozes in their nets. One by one, they're disappearing. Soon, the ocean will take in them all. Well, okay. I can see that. Yeah, I mean, it's especially just elevation differences is going to be different. Pretty here. Hearing footsteps. You turn around. Behind you stands a pretty woman in a sweater. Natural beauty. Yeah, this is exactly what I need. Shudder. The, oh, she, this is her saying this. You shudder seeing the woman reaching into her pocket and grabbing a nasty looking gun. Pretty face. If I borrow it. Oh. 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 Uh, alright. Uh, where is... Oh, that's right, we got a knife! It's in your hand. A knife! No! Anyway. Oh. Ma'am? Um. Excuse me, miss? Uh, pardon me. You, um, you got a little something. Actually okay this turn. Okay, we we're gonna we're gonna win this turn. Or we should anyway. Wow, she fucked us up. Lucky earrings. All right. Though you've braved the stench for hours, you glean nothing besides the fact that the fisherman had a wife. Perhaps you should pay her a visit. Lucky earrings. Why, yes, I'll equip that. Heard you. Heard you. On a huge pile of nets and hooks prepared for the big hunt, you quickly throw the item them into the ocean. That'll stop them from sailing out. Oh, our friend's still with us. Rad. The investigation is starting to take a toll on your health. I feel like you're about to fall asleep standing up. How do you address your weakened state? Uh... 
uh, buy coffee. That seems like the best option. When you arrive at the fisherman's house, it stands lo vacated. Peering in through the dusty window, you recoil in shock. Uh -oh. What does that even mean? Okay, the circle is where you want to investigate to continue. Following a suspicious person, you enter an old, rundown mansion. Things like spoiled milk and has only two doors. One of which you came through. You can't see the strange man. Here. You leave through the other door or search the room? Uh, search! Nothing really important here. What do you think you might be able to use one item you found? Library. His wife lies in the kitchen. Mutilated, covered with black marks. The library. Why, well, yes, I'll use that. Oh, we're so close. How many allies can we have? Just the one? How's our doom doing? Injuries. Nope, we can't do anything with our friend. All right, well, let us continue the investigation. You enter our art workshop. The room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. The lady that attacked us was missing a face. Fuck. The head of one sculpture looks so lifelike, you move closer and raise your hand to touch it ner to nervously touch it. It falls off. Headless person stumbles out of the sculpting classroom, reaching for your head. Ma'am? Um... Oh wait, hold on. How much is this? Oh yeah, this is this is a So for a guaranteed hit, it's six percent less. Let's go. Three. by the neck. No, you did not. Yeah! You got enough experience to level up! Level up! Advance to the next level. Choose one perk and one step. What's a perk? What, what's a perk? Folklore studies, discipline, art. Gain one stamina for all event skill checks. That seems good. That's basically healing. Dexterity or those. So yeah. Where's luck listed at though? I don't see that on our that. Our seed is nine nine nine. That's interesting. That would mean that it's six six six. All right. Uh. All right. I I think I feel good about this. Discipline and dexterity. 
But one of these might let us pass forth. No, healing. Healing is good. Really, but someone else must have caught one of them. Look around and hoping to find one. Crabs are feasting on a bloated corpse, carried to the beach by waves. So we inter we interfere with the crab. Um, Hey, success! That's a heal. Um, inside the man's pocket, find documents. They're all strangely drawn. Did the man really drown? He brought here. Sir. The young man has glassy eyes and mumbles his replies between caressing his catch. The beating movements in his arms disturb you. Cool air suddenly fills your mouth. The taste metallic. Before you can rea react, that before you can react, you hear a low growling sound coming from behind you. Um. Okay, we're, we're fighting a monster cat for no reason. But all right, can we do anything with our teammate? this. Learn about your enemy. Three. Their damage equals one plus the number of your ally. Interesting. Well, we don't have any fire, but it's good to know. Well, he's almost dead. Um, so while we're here, let's um, find an item. We missed. Here we go. I like the combat in that. It's, it's very fast once you get it. After a slow interrogation, the young man manages to stutter something out about organizing a fish or about an organized fishing trip. Something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. It's not moving, but you swear it's watching. Somebody divided by zero. Flip out at night and race towards the beach, terrified of what comes next. Okay. The full moon shines bright in the black cloudless night sky. The ink black ocean waves glimmer eerily. All the residents have drawn their shutters tight, locked their doors. Your footsteps are silent in the sand. The only sounds are your ragged breathing and pounding heartbeat. You arrive at the water's edge, breathless. This fisherman's boat fill the horizon with their light. Tiny yellow spots navigate across the dark ocean under a dark sky. You cannot make out the figures on board. Not the sailor. The black beings must have left their bodies. Shocked, you watch them sail their way out of the harbor. You are terrified at their power, but relieved that they did not drag their meat with them. Okay, that seems like a good ending. Uh, you're, the black beings never returned. Yet mothers would not let their children play on the beach. Over time, people forgot the last time they saw a boat out on the waves. Though some clay they see strange beings come into port at night. Ending A. Uh, we got experience. We got more experience. Reduce the doom. We got plus one reason. Time passes one day. Alright. Old gods serve. Hold down, stop receiving any outside signal. 
be radio now. Okay. Oh. Find your mailbox. Find a small key. What's it doing? Uh, let's go back. Oh, we found an empty bottle. Oh, I don't think it'll let us do anything until we have all five. Yeah, I see. Okay. We've opened we've opened them now. Now they're open. Gotcha. We have an empty bottle now, which means that we can go take a bath. An empty bottle with water. Um, let's get our reason back up. Can't get any signal. Uh, that was that was expected. Okay. Um. Ooh, look at our board. Oh. Interesting. We can't do the TV one. That must have been what cut off the signal. We must have needed to do the TV one first. Huh. That's interesting. Mm, well, let's do found footage. Take a drink before I read this. Freaky feature of found footage. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about the local folklore and legends of a nearby forest. Now, first anniversary of the event, a suspicious man has started asking questions. He claims to be a private investigator hired by the parents of the two. The parents of your friends didn't hire. Who is he? What did the uh, students discover? Him? Three students disappeared in the process of making a local documentary. You can find a clue about their last known whereabouts in the school newspaper. They escaped the mansion twice. Alright, well, let's do that. The whole building begins to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly, the stone pillar uh, bursts through the floor where you stood just seconds ago. But it's the arcane symbols painted on the stone. You take a step closer. Show you the symbol. Yeah! We healed a little. You recognize some of the symbols from the stone tablet you saw at the museum. The connection. Hearing a shuffling sound coming from behind a wardrobe. You decide to push it out of the way. You discover a niche in the wall. Someone has put three dusty dolls in there. That's not good. And you try to reach out and grab one, however. They jump off and scatter around the room, giggling. Oh boy. Checking if there's anything that has like ten. No, okay. Oh no, puppet matron starts climbing. I don't even like the idea that there's a puppet matron. So let's um one, two, three, that, and then that, and it would die. Dodge the attack! Heck yes. Oh, did we level up again? Holy crap. Legends say the witch was buried alive for kidnapping and murdering two children. It points you in a specific direction, potentially saving you some time. Alright. 
Running shoe. Smaller doom penalty. Leadership. This one charisma. Fast swimmer. Faster offensive actions. Yes, please. Um... Luck seems good. We don't even have a stat for it, but... Let's, um... You know what? Let's bring knowledge up a little bit. Program. Didn't do those drawings. Great story. Aww. Forced to help you. No, thank you. Let's learn a spell. Spell. Oh, good. A heal. Okay. Yes. This is all great. You bump into one of your teammates in the gym. Hey, Takahashi, she says, looking over with the brows for him. You doing okay? You've been acting really weird lately, and you look super tired. You shouldn't burden her with everything that's going on, but... Strange stuff. Ah, you're good as soon as you open your mouth. Friend, it was a joke. Oh, wow. Oh, so we need to roll under. Okay, I got it. I definitely should raise luck. Notes mention a village not far from town. You decide to take a bus. Old priest is performing a ritual to appease a local demon in prison of the ground. Glad to join him. You read about the ritual. Following the intricate pattern of steps, bows, and claps isn't a problem for you. Once the ritual ends, you thank the priest and hand over an item. Heck yeah! What is the, what is the item? Master spiritual axe? I mean, we don't we don't have them, but let's equip them. No, wait, no. We want the lucky earrings. <laughs> we'll sell those. Uh, and we can probably drop... Hungry, enter a small local restaurant and order the daily special made with today's catch. Can the fishman get those? I'm not gonna eat that. Alright, well, then we'll go where they're staying and they want us to go. Two chopped off heads. You can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the last week. Call the police. God damn it. I think your version of events that didn't add up. Detained, but due to the lack of evidence, please let you go. Oh yeah, I should have been going through the village. Okay. That's that was the skip we we found out early. That's fine. An old farmer points you to an old stone. The missing group supposedly started their forest trip there. You try to lose the masked man that's been following you the whole morning. Eventually find yourself in a dead end. Looking for a way out, you hear a branch snap behind you. Hello, sir.
Each successful attack raises doom by 1%. Alright, so we need to kill him. Oh, right, we got the boost attack, uh, boost ability, so, like, we can do more attacks per round. This is great. Come on. Yeah. Um, uh, looking back one last time, you can enter deeper in the woods. Okay. Dropping the tree branches hang over path. Or drop drooping tree branches hang over the path, framing it in almost a macabre way. Almost all right. Get a grip. I like their use of the reuse of the interface. While wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings in one of the trees, and by the look of them, they were made recently. Could they be connected to the current mystery? Yeah! You're certain the missing people were here. You're on the right trail. Following a trail of rotten fruit, you stumble a small forest shrine, probably dedicated to local spirit. Small tattoo looks alien and menace menacing. Uh, I mean, never destroy a shrine. Hey. In the shrine, you discover a small piece of paper. I can find the statue. And a pile of human teeth laying behind a nearby rock. What what paper did we get? I don't know. Following the ghastly music, you find yourself in a forest. The sound's getting closer. Ma'am. Excuse me. Oops, well, didn't need to do any more research. The feeling is someone's follow. Rumored Witch's house seems empty. In the basement, find a camera pointing towards a large hole. On the table next to the camera, you see three cassettes, each titled after one of the missing friends. Then you hear a curious sound coming from one of the holes. Inside. You kneel down and lean forward to see what's inside the hole. It takes a while to process what you're looking at. A gigantic eye staring right at you. Uh oh. To hypnotize, you continue to lean in. Feeling weaker and weaker as the gargantuan beast lures you in. At the very last moment, a suspicious tall man grabs you by the collar. He explains he's part of a cult protecting the house. The mysterious entity below it. You've got a bigger purpose than to die here, he says, before knocking you out. You wake up a few hours later on a bus heading you back into town. Uh, rewards for solving this mystery. The forest is restless. I wonder if it's like A is the best ending or if it's just alternates. But alright. Old God Stir. Bands of rioters are gathering around downtown. Alright. I'll get mailbox, find a small key. Currently investigating this. Uh, we will definitely still take an empty bottle of water. And we'll gain some reason back. Hey, culinary! Give you a shout out as well. How are you doing tonight, culinary disaster? Well, 
We got one missed for that. But, before we do that... One more. Hmm. Power Watch is good. I like this, actually. The more I think about this, because these investigations are... Yeah, of course it would. Uh, because these investigations are... I don't want to say fast, but fast enough. You could easily, like, jump in, do a mission, and get out, and then come back later. I guess this is this is the roguelike aspect, right? Each of these missions are, are randomized, and uh, the end goal would be getting to whatever's going on at the lighthouse. Vicious verses of a violent vigil. Received an official looking letter. The law firm from Tokyo won. Following the directions from the letter, you slowly fight your way through the overgrown forest path. The old mansion looks like it was torn down and rebuilt many times, but where is everybody? Tip! Explore mansion action will unlock new, new locations. Oh, we're in a totally different place. Alright. Hey, our friend still came with us, though. What is a hot bath perk? Dang it. Yeah, I mean, sure. Takes you some time. Finally, you manage to find some. Another guest? Ask them what's going on here. Till dawn. Interesting. This is a time limit. The young woman wrinkles her nose when she knows. Before you've seen the symbol engraved on her necklace before. Want to pay respect to that old creep? All the corridor on the right. Okay. Uh, that's a Necronomicon. You find a heavy tone wrapped in moth-eaten black velvet in an old lock cabinet. You remove the wrapping, you recoil in disgust. Found in human flesh. Do we claw to Verata Nikto? Hmm. Burn it. <laughs> you may never know what's going on behind the hideous book. Well, that's a good thing. Pressing a handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. No way they allowed your grand uncle just to lie. What was the correct bow and clap order? The other guests will know. There's another family member has arrived. You notice all the guests studying the small cars. You should ask them about it. You didn't get this with the letter? Here, take mine. Hair standing next to the window. A man is muttering something to himself while his wife is observing you with a naturally bulgy eye. Clap, bow, clap. Clap, bow, bow, clap. I don't know, Culinary. I've never had these before. Clap, bow, bow, clap. What time is it? Did it say what time it was? 10 p.m., okay. 10 p.m. Clap, bow, bow, clap. You think you got the order, right? Checked his foot. Weird tattoo on his, but it's not in here. I don't see it. Ah! Bow, bow, clap, clap, bow to show reverence for the divine deity. Right? Now pretend like we want to be. A 
Takahashi, you hear a chipper voice shouting during your jog around the, uh, the area. You turn around, turn your head, or just see another one of your teammates in casual clothes, smiling, blissfully unaware of everything going on. What's up, Captain? Uh, come drive with me. After a bit of playful coaxing, convince her to join you another lap or two. Competition motivates you to push yourself harder. Wrap up your workout tired, but satisfied with Smells nauseating. Put the meat on your plate. Nope. Nope. I know what long pig is. Absolutely not. Shudder instantly. Cognizing. Is it recognizing that's supposed to be? The room from the newspaper photo. What is going on with this text? Three years ago, man had felt hanged himself here. The vigil held in a place like this? Meat cleaver. Interesting. But I do like my current weapon. Around the corner of a crooked manor tower is calling to you. Feel your strength drain away as you stare at the bright light. Fight this feeling. Yeah, succeed. One glimpse of the Eldritch la landscape is enough. You manage to cover your eyes and move towards where you can't see the damned window. You feel sick, but at least you're safe for now. We're so close to leveling. All right, it's midnight, which means you got to pray over the body. And okay, there's still the same thing. Body is missing. Seems that someone's already removed furniture from this room. Her gland plant, plant cast an unsettling shadow. Uh, where is everybody? So you're one of the previous owners of this mansion like to read. Dusty tomes uh, reach the ceiling. Not much time, but maybe you could spare some time to look through the books. Table. Notes for lying on the table look like ramblings of a madman, but you can see a method in their madness. Yeah, culinary. I thought it was 1.0, but apparently it is still um, early access. Time to level up! Hot bath. Plus one luck. We're gonna do that. Folklore studies, and then we're going to increase luck. Managed to find one of the guests. They're shaken, but otherwise safe. We both decided to get the hell out of this place, but the door is gone. So. One a.m. Nothing. Burn an envelope found... Something's going on with the font in this game. I don't know what. Burn an envelope found... Blah, blah, blah. All in front of you withers and falls apart, feeling a whole ridden monstrosity. Hello, sir. <laughs> Presence makes you weaker. Thank you. 
Yeah. Oh, so close. Success. Who am? Burn an envelope. Hello? Burn the envelope. Takes you some time, but you finally find an envelope. Following the instruction, you burn it without opening. Feel weird following obscure orders. Uh oh. Cover the mirror in the storage room. mirror you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there the other guest is now safe with you the whole building cracks and moves you're scared of what will come next um 3 a.m cover in the storage room no mirror problem. We can't, we can't do what it wants us. about a heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke the local inn and stitched unsuspecting guests together. Final grew spark. We got the sewing machine! We succeeded! <laughs> On the sewing machine, you spot a strange engraving. When you get closer to investigate, your mind is flooded with forbidden knowledge. You leave the room quickly. What spells we get? Gain a spell. Third eye. As the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes more and more until the walls start to collapse, feeling the tro shocking truths about your whereabouts. I see. Nope. Corpse, your uncle slowly floats into the room as the remaining walls collapse. Contract not over yet. Okay, cheated death twice. Okay, that's a lot of hit points. No, we're not gonna sacrifice the other guests. Actually, hold on. Old man claiming to be your uncle. I really like the music in this fight. Yeah, we're gonna be able to do this. Smile. Right, he hasn't done anything yet. Come on. Come on. Oh, so close. Alright, we can do this. Contract is void. A voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the grass, an old mansion nowhere to be seen. Next to you are the other guests, as confused as you. Everything feels like a bad dream. Was the man claiming to be your granduncle really trying to cheat death itself? 
You and other family members finally exit the forest and leave the nightmare of it behind. One thing is certain. Never have open letters from... Uh, you will never open letters from law firms from Tokyo. Ending A! Bunch of experience. Reduce some doom. Heck yeah. The roads leading out of town were closed by the police. Find a new way out. Hi, cops. Find your mailbox. Find a small key. No mysteries to investigate. It means it's time for the lighthouse. I've never done this before, even the last time I played a bunch. Um, I think I only ever did two or three missions, and funnily enough, none of these were the two or three that I did. Alright, let's, um, what do we got for items? Good there. Good there, let's take a bath. We will, um... Boost experience. Okay. The lighthouse. Enter light. Finally made it inside the cursed lighthouse. Your gut is telling you two things: that whoever or whatever is behind the weird events must be on the highest floor of this place, and that you should run as far as you can. You're afraid there won't be a way back once you start climbing these stairs. Storage, a bit, dark climb. I mean, honestly, I think we're we're fine. I don't even think we need a rest. Following the window staircase or winding staircase, you are stop. Wait a minute. Someone broke into your apartment. Saw all the clues and newspaper clippings and pinned them here. The more you study them, the discover you can't remember any of them except one. Select the title of a mystery you investigated as the second one. Uh, okay, shit. Um. What was our second... It was one of these. What was the second? I'm going to say it was the sailor. Oh, correct answer. You ripped the newspaper clippings on a, a case you seem to remember. Underneath it is a tiny button. You press it, and it opens. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate blocking your way. Locked, you notice an electric cable. It seems to connect the door to a hole inside the central pillar. There's a switch inside, and you'll have to risk getting cut by the numerous glass shards of knives. Fuck! Hey, we succeeded! You managed to locate the door switch to avoid the knives and the glass shard. Uh, Alright, hold on. Level up. We don't need really hot bath. I think luck is probably good right now. Um, in fact, I think luck is probably good right now. Ooh. Hmm. Let's go with Nolly. Yeah. Because we're going to get luck from this. Well, staircase, you're stopped by dark. Thick black cloud is obscuring your vision. You swear something. I don't have a light source. Uh, is waiting for you inside of it. You have a bot flash. Decide to brave through the veil. Surprisingly, emerge a while later, safe. Yet, however, find the blasphemous whispers you heard. Following the winding staircase, you're stopped by a metal gate. Teeny page just nails to the gate explains that opening the gate will require you to grab two metal rods. Your own body is a natural conductor. You'll power up the gate. Oh, that's gonna hurt! Hey. Good thing we raised knowledge. 
You're about to grab the rods when you notice the dials and button. You toy with them for a bit before adjusting both voltage and current so it's safe for you to grab them. Fuck yeah. This is going extremely well. You're stopped by a girl wearing a dirty black school uniform. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further, she says, reaching for a bag. It's too late anyway. You instinctively take a step back when you notice a knife in her hat. You have to think fast. Try to reason? Not enough charisma. You try to talk to her into allowing you to pass, but suddenly she raises the knife, raises the knife, ah, and slices her own throat. The dark clouds swirl around the lighthouse. You arrive to it. Ooh, who might have done it? The unnatural fog slowly lifts your leaves collapse on the floor. We're safe, for now! Okay, the next day everything feels like a bad dream. You manage to stop the ritual awakening the eldritch old god, but what's done is done. It will stir and slumber again and again, until the stars are right again. Hell yeah! My trusty steak knife. Oh, fit a doom. About four mysteries plaguing this town. It's about 37 new events. Countered nine new enemies, you unlock four new achievements. Hell yeah! Our swim team champion, she is a beast. No eldritch being is going to stop her. So did we unlock any? First cartridge. Roll a one during any stat check. Unlocks the hermit ally. Win your first playthrough. Oh! Interesting. Endless mode. Win a playthrough using the world of horror backs. Medical history. Interesting. Well, we'll go. We'll go black and white. Just do. We'll do some more checking around. I don't know that I'm necessarily going to do another run, but I really like this game. I've always liked this game, but um, I'm alive. Is this a horror? Is this a Halloween one? I think it may be. Hold on. We'll we'll go back to that in a second. Interesting. So we're gonna we're gonna really quickly we're gonna restart. the driver. Teen Idol. Interesting. And then that's who we were in the first one. Uh, Takahashi was, was super useful. He was good. Oh, that's, that is such a good option. That means even though it's going to be roguelike, you can still see new stuff. I 
Cold Gods are Awakening. Endless mode. Scenario mode. Road Adventures. Oh, that's interesting too. We'll, we'll keep the Old God mode. Somewhere, a group of people gather, trying to awaken. The Towering Eye. Towering Fire. Thing forsaken by God. Casting spell, costing reason, increases boom instead. We'll go back with it. We're just going to read through. Yep. Yeah. Damn. Oops. <laughs> that was because I hit Q. All right. We'll, we'll really quickly, rapidly get back to there. New story. Continue. Customize the playthrough. Yup, 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 yup. Boop, 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 boop. Wafco, Wafco. No. Now. Bolts, capital of Japan. Content. All right. Yes. Yes. Library notes. In a uh, random spell, uh, but lose reason. I mean, we're just starting out. We only lost one reason. What spell did we get? Invisibility. Oh, but we can't escape. That's unfortunate. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time. Okay, five mysteries. So we know that if we do this one before doing this one, we lose this one. So let's do the TV terror. Get in your bed, staring at the flickering blues TV screen. You missed the damn channel again. Let's get us a friend. Look nervous. All right. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't even notice we can talk to them. Not home. Check later. Uh, looking around the ransacked room, he recently deceased friend. There were a half finished painting of a woman. Her skin is of ghastly pale yellow color. But, well, we lost motive. Local broadcast station seems like a logical place to start your investigation. Seeing the two chopped off heads. Um, Kobon, roll the dice. Yes! The nearest Koban. I tell the officer about the gruesome discovery. The old policeman is grateful, gives you a small reward for uh, before disappearing inside to make the call. 
Hired station director sweats and keeps glancing to the side when asked about the weird channel. He peremptorily denies its existence before he pushes you out of his office. Before the door closes, what another person standing behind the director. Was he in the whole office the whole time you were there? You walk through the crowded space when he bumps into you to apologize. Uh-uh! Fill your wallet. Quickly grab their arm, they drop it before disappearing into the crowd. Can't fool me. Oh, you can just use this. Huh. We'll keep hold on that for now. Getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery. Shadows will move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right wet grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. You whirl around to see who's behind you. Luckily, the other person is a kind old lady who points you to the tombstone you were looking for. For a stone, you find a note that someone left for you. Being up all night is almost impossible and you struggle to keep your eyes open. When the channel comes up, you manage to switch on the DVR just before falling asleep. Finally got real proof. Alright. You back? Go. An envelope lying on a pillow. And this was thing before. Wake up the next morning, the footage scrambled a mess. But you can swear there are faces hiding behind this data. Feeling desperate, you start coming through the message board, hoping to find some clues. Past midnight, you're barely able to keep your eyes open. It's a good idea to call them. Uh oh. When we finally collapsed, you learned of interesting information about the production of the first show. Something changed. Forum posts about a newly built warehouse in a nearby village. A place where they broadcast the show from? Take the last bus and find the studio yourself. Nope. First, I'm resting. For all the painkillers. Got a book. Thank you. Alright, now we will investigate. Uh, participate in the ritual. Don't fuck it up. Yes. Mummified heart? Defeat vampire enemy. Okay. Walk through the dimly lit studio. Creep past the props and various equipment. Getting closer to the lights is in the very center. Get closer to the hissing noises than canned laughter. Laughter. You stand just out of sight, holding your breath. Cast stand on a desolate stage, drawing pentagram. I think one of them catches through your eye. Gas. What happens next is bizarre. The entire cast spots you, but instead of attacking, they run directly into the camera, peering into its lens like onto a portal. You rummage around the set for a while, trying to figure out how they escaped into the camera and clues the, sh uh, the show's meaning. Ultimately, you find nothing. When you get home, you're uneasy about turning on. I don't know how we resolved this, but. We did finish it, and we reduced Doom. Closing shadows longer. What does that mean? Lighthouse gets one additional point. Oh, okay. Well! This is where we're going to call it. I feel like one successful full run, and another mission on this random set was quite good. Um... I really enjoyed the game. I wonder if he has a timeline. I know it is a single dev still. At least it was when I last checked in. I wonder if he has a timeline on the final release. Uh, I'll have to dig into that. Um, thank you all so much for watching. And let me let me just phase back to normal. Just hit. Boop. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, we will be back with more horror-related things throughout the month. Um, more schedule stuff coming up soon. I am thinking, cycling, nope, still not the right word. Circling around or syncing up with Retro and Edgar. Uh, we are going to figure out the OK Games portion of October very quickly. Um, 
If you're watching live, please stick around and we will visit someone rad. If you're watching the archive, please feel free to check out something else on my channel. Um, if you are watching live, we are four followers slash whatever they call it, subscriptions away on my YouTube channel from me hitting the minimum that is needed to get a custom URL rather than the gobbledygook that is my current channel. It is just for archives, but it would be nice. No worries if you don't feel like it, though. Or if you already have, thank you. Other than that, be safe and be kind to one another. Bye-bye!